Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow pansies in Aero Garden Harvest. I see pansies everywhere like parking lots, offices, apartment complexes, etc. So I just want to give them a try in Aero Garden and see how that's going to turn out. The seeds are very small, smaller than the mustard seed. I am placing three seeds in each pod and starting with all pods. These plants are going to be pretty small. I believe I can manage them in all six pods, but I am going to grow only one plant per pod. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod, but I will continue with all six pods. That's it, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water, but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been 8 days. The germination is pretty good. I see multiple seedlings in few pots. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. I will use Aerogode nutrition throughout this grow cycle. I may be able to grow multiple plants per pod because these plants stay pretty short and small. But I am growing it for the first time, so I will stick to one plant per pod. It's day 15. The seedlings are coming nice. They are coming slow, but all of them are showing nice progress. Now I see three seedlings in every single pod, so the germination is 100%. I really want to thin out the seedlings, but these seedlings are too small. I can't even run my fingers through these seedlings, so I am going to wait a little longer. I really want these seedlings to come a little bit above the pods, so that I can hold it and pull them easily. It's day 21. All the seedlings are coming excellent. Now it's time to thin out the seedlings. I'm going to thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pot today. Let's check the development of roots. Hopefully it is not too dense. Yeah, not bad. It's not too dense. So I think it's still okay to thin out the seedlings. It's day 23. I thin out all the seedlings. Now I have only one plant per pod. They are all looking very healthy. I didn't want to discard the excess seedlings. So I moved them to I do 8 pod model. Some of them survived. Some of them did not survive. Let's see how this garden is going to shape up as well. It's day 44. All plants are coming excellent. They are getting very overcrowded. This plant is growing compact but super dense. There is lots of development from the center of the plant. Maybe I should have grown only 4 plants. Let's see what happens. I am not going to take out any plants. I will just see what happens. But definitely they are getting super crowded. And this looks like just the beginning. As they are growing more and more, they get even more crowded. Let's see if that is going to cause any issues. I don't see any signs of flower buds yet. Let's wait and see. These are the seedlings that I transplanted into Ido when I thin out the seedlings. Only one seedling didn't survive and I took it out. All the remaining are doing very good. They are showing nice progress, very similar to the plants in Aero Garden. It's day 49. Look at this. I got the first pansy. Looking beautiful. I don't see any signs of flower boards on any of the remaining plants. Coming to the plants in I do, I see a flower board here as well. This will bloom mostly in a day or two. Unfortunately, one plant completely dead in this system. One more almost died, but I was able to recover it. The reason is these plants are not developing a huge root system. The water went lot below. So this pod was not able to catch any water. So the plant gave up. This one also gave up but I added water and this plant is coming back. So just be careful because these plants are not developing a long root system. So if they don't get water they will give up so quick. This is the biggest plant. Wow, look at this root system. It is so fluffy like cotton. Alright, the journey started. Let's see. 
it's day 52 the first flower still looking so fresh and beautiful i see one more flower board shown up it is probably a flower it is opened 50 percent it is definitely a very bad idea to grow six plants in this garden four should be much better look at this it is super crowded coming to i do the flower fully opened here as well looking so beautiful I don't see any flower birds from other plants. Since this plant is completely gone, I'm going to take out this pod. See here how nicely they are growing here. There is a lot of gap here. I think once I take out this, there will be much more space here. It's day 64. The plants are doing excellent and producing a bunch of flowers. I see a couple of flowers every single day. They are looking beautiful. The older flowers drying up, but they stayed pretty long. I think they stayed about one week. So this is all going good and it is shaping up very well. Coming to I do, I see one plant at full bloom, but other plants also started flower birds. So soon I'm going to see lots of flowers here as well. This garden is also looking very well and shaping up very nice. It's day 73, lot more flowers and a lot more flower birds and very uniformly growing plants, all good here. Now look at this Ido, it is full of flowers. Compared to Aero Garden, the plants in Ido are really doing excellent. So many flowers and there are so many flower birds coming up. This is really wonderful, looking so beautiful. This is exactly how I want a flower garden to be. It's day 77. Let me start with I do. Look at this garden. Lots of flowers. Wow. At the top, I can only see the flowers. I can barely see the plants. Lots of widely opened flowers, looking so beautiful. There is only one plant which didn't have any flowers. This is the one actually struggled so much. This almost gave up at some point because there were not enough uh, water in the bowl and uh, this pod, uh, this plant didn't get any water and it almost died. But it quickly recovered after adding the water. It is definitely going to survive. In fact, it already survived and it is definitely going to bloom the flowers. There is lots of flowering. Wow, these Pansies are doing really good. I am really loving this flower garden. And coming back to Aero Garden, somehow I see some flowers, but I don't see a lot of flowering as much as I see in I do. But not bad. The plants are still growing very uniform. And I see a couple of flower birds coming here and there. So this garden is going to pick up the growth very well. But I don't think there is much to say from this point. This garden is very well established and I believe this is going to survive for a couple of weeks, perhaps months. So I'm going to just enjoy these flowers and watch them growing for a long time. Definitely the plants in Ido did very well because of the bigger bowl, I guess, and less plants. So definitely less plants is much better. Don't be greedy like me and try to fill up all the pots. Even though I have only one plant per pod, I see this plant came up with lots of branches. See here, like so many branches. That's why these plants are getting super crowded. With six plants, there is so much competition and the plants are definitely struggling here. None of them are actually showing any unhealthy signs. They are still healthy, but the productivity is not that good. I don't see a lot of flowers here. As a flower garden, I expect a lot of flowers. I really want this garden to be loaded with flowers. Something like this. Look at this petunias. This garden is loaded with flowers and this always gives me a lot of pleasure looking at this garden. I want the garden like this, especially when I grow flower garden. I want the garden to be fully loaded with flowers. That way it will be much more pleasant. But I have nothing to be concerned too much. I'm pretty sure these plants are going to produce lots of flowers. Just to limit the number of plants to four if you are growing in Aero Garden Harvest. And coming to Ido, this is eight pot garden, but I have only six plants. Maybe I can even take out this plant. Less plants is even better. Maybe five plants is better for Ido, even though six plants are doing fine here. Aero Garden nutrients are working very well. 
I am still giving the same recommended dosage, which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle. And coming to I do, I am giving 3 ml for 1 liter of water and that's working out very well. After seeing this fully loaded Pansy Garden, now I am tempted to try other colors. I think the purple or violet color, that's very tempting. So I am going to order those seeds and try them. These flowers are really worth trying at least once. Very beautiful. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.